This is a heavy middleweight contest at six rounds. Five minutes each round, two falls, two submissions, and one KO to decide the winner. In the blue corner, from Salford in Lancashire, Mark Rocco. The genuine Kung Fu. I see Kung Fu's built all over the country, but I know that they can't be the genuine ones because uh, they don't move anything like this boy. But this is one of the fastest movers in the business. And finally, he's up against another very fast mover in the shape of Mark Rocco of Manchester at 13 stone 4. Kung Fu around 12.7, though I'd never speak to him, so I cannot find out any, too many details about him. There's Chinese self-defense, of course, Kung Fu, one of the martial arts, and also Kendo, Karate, and Judo, but you just watch these two boys go. Main bar of the afternoon, six rounds and one, uh, the best of three falls to the side. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout. As we go ahead with round one. Mark Rocco and his uh, very smart get-up, with Rocco written right across his chest in case you get mixed up. And there's not going to be any hanging about in this bout if I know these two men. So Arm Lever begins to join Rocco into an arm lock. Expected too much canvas wrestling from these two. Yeah, pull on body shot. Follow up too soon. Well, let's hope he doesn't get like that too early because this could be such a good bout. Heavy middleweight. Rocco, 15 stone four. Just one pound under the heavy middleweight. Up a bracket. That Kung Fu going for the quick attempted pinfall there right from the start. It uh, shook Rocco a little then. Side headlock. Front head chance right. Throw from it. Follow up. Straggle hold. Double arm. Over the top of shoulder press. Neat. Very neat by Rocco. That's yeah, Kung Fu bridging it successfully. Ropes break. And already these two men must know what they're up against. Probably nothing given or expected here. No Kick. Very quick for that deal kick. For Nelson Rocco. Doesn't even bother to hold on to it. Goes to the side head chance read. Effective, and of course, there you can see the Kung Fu, one of the few barefoot wrestlers in the country at the moment. A couple of minutes to go, round one. Threshold, loose threshold, but he got there, and the slam didn't really come off for him. And he was a bit early on the take, says uh, Joe DeRazio. Private warning. Not to do it again. <laughs> oh, yes. Mark Rocco waiting for the leg spread. He gets the drop kick from the canvas instead. Lock 
One minute left. I'm lost in the air. He doesn't want to hold five, it, just whips him two, with it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the bear hug. Another bear hug. There's nothing good so either of them can do about that on the ropes. A quick turn, 30 seconds to go, reaching for three-quarter Nelson there, didn't get it. The first pinfall attempt by uh, Fung Fu also gets a one. And a cross press by Rocco also gets a one, but just a couple of seconds to go now in this first round. Kung Fu, very little of course that one knows about this boy because he never speaks to anybody, won't speak to me at all. Kung Fu, about 12 stone 7 I figure, and his promoter figures that's his weight. Black belt first down in judo. And of course he doubles also, apart from kendo and karate, uh, in savat, which is uh, in taekwondo also. He studied his Kung Fu in the United States of America. Anyway, round two. Round two, five to go. Two falls to decide this. Rocco versus Kung Fu, the masked wrestler. Yes, he was up in time, so the new team up there. Rocco doing everything he knows to slow this man down. But he'll have a job. Trying to stop Kung Fu wrestling. By these forearms and back elbows. And knees to the face. Control and instead of the slam, he goes for a reverse posting. Oh, yes, caught him beautifully on the way of that. But Rocco not worried by the first one. Is he worried by the second? Yes, Rocco trying to get away then. Beautifully shot to the throat on his way. Oh, yes. Kung Fu really coming back into it now. Thought Rocco was having it all his own way a little too much. That could have slowed Rocco, the Manchester wrestler. That shot must have landed. Not sure about whether that was a punch to me, nor is the referee. Turned his man back to the ref, so he wouldn't see that. Inside leg hang, beauty. He'll come back to find. Feet to the face. Commence to go round two. No sign really of any score yet. It's been really good. And the follow up of the three quarter Nelson. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
unorthodox oh. way, but he got there. So his man with it back to the canvas, which is what he wanted. What is it just now by Kung Fu? from the body scissors trying for submission now Rocco back and that could be worse even though he's landed well, neither of these boys expect any favours and they're certainly not good Fifteen seconds now, round two. Their version of the referee's hold, which didn't quite come off. Rocco with a dub, uh, the back hammer on the bell. Uh, Mark Rocco from Manchester, 13 stone four of them. Quite an advantage here for over three quarters of a stone over his kung, opponent Kung Fu today. Rocco, six years amateur experience, turned pro in 1970, and of course trained by the well-known heavyweight Jim Hussey, who also happens to be his father. Jim now running a pub, very interested in his sons uh, keeping up the name in the wrestling business of the future. And doing it very well so far is Mark Rocco. Round three, four rounds to go, no score. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this one. Kung Fu in the mask on the left there. This is Mark Rocco. A little bit too early. And that's certainly too early. Public warning for that. Rocco continues not heeding that uh, public warning announcement by the MC. Fu's nose bleeding slightly now, which I suppose will worry him too much. And it's a crutch hole posting again, that reverse posting. Cross-press, very near the ropes, but thrown off easily. The feet coming to action now, a bit of savat. Oh, missed it with that, missed the new clip by a foot there as Rocco didn't come forward as fast as he expected. It's a nice throw, spin out, what a spin out, body spin out. And a straight finger straight to the throat with Rocco down, with throat in trouble from that. As King Fu goes back on a submission hold, if ever there was one, he's not going to use it, he goes back to the shoulder press to bury it. Folder, operating with the feet alone and it just took him one minute 35 seconds into round three to do it and a great reverse folding press if ever we saw one on television i think i've seen a faster or a, a better a more accurate one than that roughly doesn't like the mule kicks but it missed it and Kung Fu worried about the nosebleed, but not too much, I would imagine. Three rounds to go, and any second the bell will start the fourth. Second away, round four. Now, well, Rocco changes tactics here. He's uh, trailing by one fall in L. Maybe he'll try and slow it up a wee bit. His usual speed maneuvers haven't really paid off. 
with that uh, culminating third round fall by his opponent. One public warning against Rocco. He tries and he punches again. Turn beautifully right time for what a throw. Took his man off the ropes just as Mark Rocco thought he was going to operate the move. Again, that took and stopped to the stage. Both feet and the Danny and Step. Well, at least they're keeping my promise for me at the beginning of this bout. They certainly don't hang about. Non stop. Both men. I'd hate to bet on this one. And me. Further quarter Nelson. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rocco <laughs> really changed his mind, and he was going for the touch hole uh, at the tour. Close, only two or three yards away from the corner, it still manages a post and very effective. And the Mikey Klein, a high one but comes through ready for it. Lands beautifully. There's that real trick again to the throat. Uh, 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 had he let go? Had he released? That's the question. Uh, two minutes left for on four. Rocco trying to come back by slamming his man under the bottom rope and shut him out. And he's got another public warning for it. Rocco doesn't like it. Complaining to the MC, but he should complain to the referee. That's the man who gives out the public warnings. So two public warnings against Rocco. That's his last one. The next one, disqualification. Rock and Kung Fu still leading Rocco anyway by one four and more. Could have treated his toes this morning. Yeah. Really switched there into that side headlock. Beautiful down. Yeah. Referee calling for a break, but Rocco trying to prove that he Kung Fu trying to prove that he wasn't holding. Jab straight out, hold the pull on check. Beautiful one. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My little room says uh, Kung Fu. Some of that effect. Suplex by Rocco. Follow up. Trying to follow up with a double knee hold, but didn't work. 30 seconds left. Step now, and he's got two public points. This man was down, and he delivered that. And lucky to get away with without disqualification. But at that time, right on the bell. <laughs> See if we can get a close. How's the nose doing? No, it's not worrying him too much. Pull the mask down over it. 
Anyway, Kung Fu, I'm afraid we don't know too much more about him except this drop kick version of uh, Toe Chop, which uh, operated very quickly in that round. I wonder if we see it again in this boat, because it really is one of the quick Let's see if we can point it out when it comes. Second away, round five. Rocco anxious to get into round five as he stands in the center of the ring, still down, one fall to nil. Two public warnings against him. That's Mark Rocco. And a drop kick by Rocco. Shoulder high. Still in the fifth round, the action continues. These fellas don't know how they keep it up. This pace, flying tackle, and a pile driver. Yeah, pile driver missed on the, the floor, but got on the knee, but it's enough to weaken him, and there it is. That equalizing pile driver. The pile driver that misfired didn't hit his man's head on the canvas, but hit. His own knee with the Kung Fu's head, but it was enough to weaken him enough to uh, follow down with the shoulder press and get the equalizing fall. One round to go now. One fall each. Now, this final score, if it comes, should be really interesting. Second away for the sixth and final round. The final round. And Rocco there in the center hasn't got any public warnings to play with he's out next time he does anything the referee doesn't like kung fu no public warnings against him has played straight all the way down the line one fall each and this is the final round beautiful whip but rocco took it well too such a beautiful how he got over on his feet then the belt seems to be worrying Kung Fu. Yes, he's going to get rid of it. And the jacket too. This is the Rocco stuff, the weakness. Anything to keep his man out of the way. The follow through, the dive out through the top two ropes. Outside the ring wrestling. Well, that won't be allowed too long. But no, Rocco's back, but so is Kung Fu back over the top. And Rocco not attending. And the follow down with a cross press. And Kung Fu can have the winner here. He's got it. In round six, Kung Fu the winner by two to one. And Mark Rocco fuming there. One minute, 20 seconds. It took Kung Fu in the final round to get the win. Two to one.